the sneaky new ATM scam that is draining bank accounts and how to protect yourself. I just had to make this video. I don't even have full makeup or anything on because they actually got someone that I know with this scam. There are lots of scams out there. I don't usually even make videos about these different scams, but this one is big and it is draining people's bank accounts and there is an easy way to stop it, but most people do not even know that it exists. So I'm gonna share how did, what's going on, how they're doing it, and again, how you can protect yourself. All right, let's go. Noel, yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, or you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Okay, so this is a new one, guys. These scammers keep coming up with new ideas. And in most cases, like I said, I don't even make videos about that. But there's two things and two reasons why I had to. So the first is many of my audience have actually, we got an email from someone that was on the YouTube channel, saw in my comment section, somebody saying, hey, hit me up on WhatsApp. Noel Randall does not ask you for money on WhatsApp. If you buy one of my courses or events or something to that effect, yes, that is really me. But me just asking and soliciting for money, that is not true, you guys know. I'm a multimillionaire. I'm an entrepreneur. I have businesses and things that I teach, but I'm not just out here begging for money. So if you see someone in the comment section on a YouTube section or on a YouTube video or any of my social media asking you to what's at me money, that is not Noel Randall. But this isn't even, I think most of you guys know that. And most of you don't fall for it, but we did get an email from someone like asking for their money back from me and saying, why won't I give them their money back? But I never had their money. So anyway, let's get into this new ATM scam that is killing people and draining people's bank accounts because this is crazy and it is working and it actually worked on someone that I am friends with and I was shocked. This is an older person who, you know, this happened. So let me give you the whole scam and how it works. So this was an ATM and I'm not going to say the name of the bank because it is a big bank and it is a, a bank. I guess they're working on this now. I actually read an article where they are working on some of these fixes. But um, what happens is you go up to the ATM and they actually take glue and the scammers will take glue. And so when you stick your card in, and now you have to stick your card in this way, it's those ATMs where you stick your card in the long way, okay? Where it's like uh, landscape, not portrait, okay? Um, and then you stick it in that way. So they put glue so you can't stick your card in. And then there's this nice stranger that's right there waiting for you. That's like, oh, hey, you know, these new cards, you can just tap, okay? This is where you get you. First of all, if you see somebody hanging around an ATM ask, offering you help, leave. There's, there should be nobody, some stranger, nice strangers at ATMs willing to help you. That's creepy. That's strange. That's a red flag. OK, so this person offering to help you is usually the scammer. OK, so in this case, this is what happens. It's the scammer that's saying that they're here to help you. And they tell you about the feature on your card where you can just tap it. And then, of course, you will tap your card. And yes, that is a new feature and it will work. You put in your PIN number and then you do your withdrawal. But the problem with this is it does not because you didn't stick your card in you will end up just getting the money being done and saying i'm you know i've done with my transaction without actually asking you do you want to do another transaction it actually is still live so people are just walking away from the atm they got their receipt they got their money they had put their card back in their wallet they think that they are done well that nice stranger comes up behind you and then by this case they know where the cameras are located and actually the video that i sent the person that um, saw the person had sunglasses and a hat on and then they actually just walked up to the ATM after this person's transaction and took another $500 out. This has been happening. Um, ABC News actually put this out. This is happening to tons of people. $900, $600, $500. They'll just go in and take another transaction. And because you put your PIN number in there, it is now incredibly difficult for these people to get their money back from the bank. You guys already know banks do not want to give you your money back in these situations, which I'm going to give you again, two ways to protect yourself. Obviously, I'm going to give you at, um, in a few minutes on how to protect yourself from this. But just know that it is incredibly hard when you file a claim with a bank, especially at an ATM to get the money back because you did um, authorize the transaction. 
and it was like your responsibility to close it out. So the first thing that I want you to know is when you do the tap feature, you have to say end transaction because again, there was a feature when you stick your card in, it asks you if you want another transaction and then it gives you your card back and then it closes the transaction. Once you take your card out, your, your, your transaction is completely closed, which is why they put the glue up there to stop you from getting your tran to stop you from putting your card in there because when you do the tap feature it does not ask that okay and many people go to the atm use it get a couple hundred bucks out and keep it moving well when you tap your card you have to say i am done i'm ending the transaction otherwise it's still live and someone can walk up behind you and just put another transaction in there and do a withdrawal for 400, 500, whatever your limit is. And some people have a limit where they can take out 900 or a thousand dollars per day in cash from the ATM. And so their scammers are doing this like crazy and racking up millions of dollars in actual cash from authorized transactions. Okay. So there's two things, like I said, that you can do. The first one is end the transaction. When you tap your feature, which is a, a thing you can do, I actually don't recommend it. I think you should just stick your card in there. And if you can't stick your card in there, leave because that ATM has been compromised. Okay. But if you do tap and you choose to use that, make sure you end the transaction before you walk off. Okay. And you get the receipt and you're done. All right. The second thing that I recommend, and I made an entire video, and this is kind of, guys, why I say that you should use credit cards over debit cards. And I know I get all kind of punches like, no, well, you're just rich. That's why you're saying that. No, I'm saying that because I know how hard it is if there is fraud or a scam on your actual bank account, how difficult this is. Let me give you a real example from my own child, my son. Okay. Noelle is now in her early 40s. My kids are getting older. I actually had my son go off to college on a college campus. And when one week of him being there this little boy was frauded okay this boy somebody walks onto the campus offers my son okay my son that he is it tells him he's a business owner and i'm gonna give you a check for like 2500 and you just sell me fifteen hundred dollars and then you can keep the rest now many of us we already know we're smart enough to know that's a scam what are you talking about you gonna hand me a check and then i sell you money if you have a check go deposit it into your own account well my brilliant son is only 18 years old he actually was 17 at the time as my son actually graduated from high school um when he was 17 and started college when he was 17 so he was very naive little boy I love him to death but he fell for this scam and it overdrafted his account and I ended up having to put two thousand dollars back in his account just so the bank did not sue him because he now was in trouble with the bank because of course that check bounced of course and he had already zelled this mysterious boy the money who was not actually a college student we did file a police report but the police did absolutely nothing and did nothing to recover the money they did not even go arrest the boy even though they actually know who did it now I am a famous influencer I have lots of people I literally could put that person's name out here and have y'all go attack them but I would never do that that that's karma they'll get their money I was able to give my son the money back and we're gonna move on but I need you guys to start protecting yourselves from this and start telling your children about some of these scams two of my kids have already actually been scammed now that they have moved out of their house and been on their own my son got scammed and my daughter got scammed thinking she was getting a job where she had to pay for the equipment for her work from home job so again i'm saying and i know you guys are in the comments going to tell me if tell me about different scams and, and things that you are seeing because my kids unfortunately have been just getting attacked um with these really common scams so again my daughter was going to get a work from home job she had to send them 300 dollars for her computer now again if somebody is hiring you for a job you do not need to send them money. They are a company. They have to pay you and they would get you a computer or you would use your own computer. You do not have to pay for a computer. If you have to pay for a computer, don't take that job because most likely like this case with my daughter, it's a scam. OK, so my son got scammed with the fake check. I'm going to give you a check and I'm going to sell you. That's a, a very common scam. Don't fall for it. My daughter got scammed with the work from home. You just need to give us some money for your computer and then we'll give it back to you on your first check. That was a scam. And my friend out in California puts their taps, their ATM on a machine and some stranger comes back up and steals four or five hundred dollars out of their account. So these scams are very real. But this sneaky ATM scam is one of the worst. And so now we lead to what I was going to say about credit cards versus debit cards because quite frankly if you are a disciplined adult you should be able to use a credit card 
instead of your debit card and just use the money that you would have used in your debit card, which is your checking account, to pay the credit card bill. This will help improve your credit score. Yes, you are creating debt, but you're going to be paying that debt off every single month. OK, it's, so you're going to have a great credit score. You're going to be disciplined. You're going to be able to budget. And if somebody scams you, it's very easy to call the credit card company and get that removed and get your money back. But it is very difficult to get the bank to give you your money back after you tapped your ATM and some sneaky person walked up behind you and then steals money out of your account that is very difficult because now they have to pull the footage you have to file a police report most cases you see two transactions so it takes you a few days to even figure out you know you went to the atm and you got 300 why are you seeing 700 dollars? or you know for some people their account is now overdrafted by some of these things so it is crazy what is going on but that is how you can protect yourself so i'm a big advocate of no longer using debit cards and I know this sneaky ATM scam is going to scare people, but I want you to know, do not be scared. You can be empowered. You can start using a credit card to manage your money and then use your debit card, your checking account money to pay your credit card. This will help protect you. This will help increase your credit score, which will give you more access to more funding. This is how wealthy people actually get even wealthier by being able to borrow millions of dollars to buy income generating assets, okay, and buy investments and different things of that nature. You do not want to have to save your way to rich. You actually can borrow lots of money. But if you can't even get disciplined enough to use a credit card to buy groceries and gas and then pay your credit card bill, well, you're probably not going to get to the point where you can get a bank to give you $500,000. So you have to start now. Start with the credit card, put the debit card away and start budgeting and disciplining yourself to use the credit card. This will offer you so much more protection. And again, so many benefits. OK, having great personal credit is truly a big benefit to people. You truly can get more access to more money. It opens up what you can do. It opens up the opportunities that you can invest in. Having good credit is an amazing thing. OK, so do not be afraid of credit. Don't think if you have bad credit, you have to keep it that way. There's a link in the description box. If you have credit issues and you want to fix them, I have a company and a friend that I've been working with for many years that helps people fix their credit. But this video is really not about that. This video is Noel Randall trying to help you. I have had too many friends and family now getting scammed and I want to make sure that you are protected. And just as a reminder, Noel Randall is not ever asking you to send her any money through WhatsApp or Telegram or anything like that or you you pay me or or please send me money please know that is not noel randall please know that you should not be tapping your your card at the atm and more importantly stop giving strangers on your college campus money or money to get a job these are all scams even the romance scams and the put pig butchering scams that we're seeing you really have to start to protect yourself i just want to make sure that you have all the resources all of the knowledge and all of the tools that you need to be successful this is noel to your success.